how to calculate the stop loss. And the stop loss is calculated in terms of the ATR, which is the average true range, which we used to call N, the letter N, which you will see referred to in my book a lot of times, which now most programs, CQG, Trade Station, eSignal, anything else, refers to as the ATR. This is the ATR, average true range. It's basically take the high to the low of whatever the bar is, the range of the day from high to low. For example, 138.45 was the high, 135.25 was the low. That's 320 points. For those of you guys who can't do math quickly in your head, I'm just used to this. Okay. This bar, from the high to the low, this is a bigger bar. The high was 136.62, the low was 131.42. That's 520 points, okay? What the ATR does is we take, so this was 300 and change, this was 500 and change. Here's a small bar, it was only about 250 points range that day. The ATR takes a 15-day average of each daily range in the bar. And that's what we simplistically refer to as volatility. If, if the bars have higher daily ranges, like way back here, look at this. This had over 1,000 points a day, from 168.15 high to 157 low. Here's a bar that had over 2,000 points a day, okay? These moves, you can see how extremely volatile they are. These bars down here, you can see how relatively quiet they are. This is what we, we refer to as volatility. And if I were to put up something like the S&P, for example, it's going to be the same story. In October, the market absolutely collapsed. The S&Ps were moving 50, 60 points a day. Now they're moving. You just got to know where to put the decimal point in every different calculated program. The average movement in the S&P is about 27 points a day right now. All right. But back in October when the market was collapsing, it was 50, 60, 70 points a day sometimes. That's crazy volatility. When the market is very volatile, in other words, having high, big daily ranges, you have to trade smaller position size. When the market is quiet or safer, shall we say, and the daily ranges are smaller, you can get away with trading bigger position size. When we calculate how much of a risk do we want to take, we don't necessarily calculate it in absolute terms, we calculate it relative to the volatility of the market. And when we say our hard stop is 2N or 2 ATRs, in commodities, for example, that means two times the daily range, whatever the daily range is. In the S&P, how many people trade stocks, trade S&P futures at all? Okay. So the daily range in the S&P is about 27 points a day. If we were to put on an S&P trade, we would give it about a 55-point stop. That's two ATRs, OK? I put on a gold trade. The average daily range in gold is about $27. If I put on a gold trade, I give it about a $55 stop. If I put on a crude oil trade, the average daily range in crude oil is about $3.34 a day. That's a lot, really. You know, that's, I mean, the price is only $46 a barrel, 
but the sucker moves three to three and a half dollars a day. That's pretty volatile. If I were to put on a crude oil trade, I would have to give it two ATRs about a seven dollar stop. Okay? That's how we figure out our stops. It's based on the relative volatility in the market. And it's going to change over time. And that's how we figure out our position size, too. Our position size is calculated to try and be so that if we lose, we're losing the same amount of money on every trade. Because no individual trade is more important than any other trade. I can't say, oh, this one's going to work because I'm going to because the last couple of trades I lost, so I know this one's going to work, so I'm going to take more risk or I'm going to give it more room. I don't know that. So I want to try and normalize, and the letter N stands for normalization. I want to try and normalize my losses on every different trade that I take or equalize my losses on every different trade that I take. So that's always going to be the same thing. If the thing goes my way, I don't care about what the volatility is. I hope the volatility increases and the market goes screaming in my direction. But for when it goes against me and I'm thinking about playing defense and cutting my losses, I always want to take a 2N or a 2ATR. That's my hard stop.